All right, good afternoon, everybody. I'm so glad to be with you today. Um, so I decided to wear my storyteller's outfit for this whole series, My Life in the Country. Now, you must remember, this was when I was five years old, so these stories are 55 years old. Yeah, you can add up to see how old I am. All right, I'm going to start today's story, and this one's going to be a little serious. Some of the stories are really funny, but this one's going to be just a little serious. So, uh, have a seat. It's called The Dead Ponies. It was the fashion back in the 1960s, back on those farms in Mecklenburg and Cabarrus counties, to raise Shetland ponies. So, a couple farms in that area had pastures full of the tiny, stocky-legged, long mane and tailed gentle creatures. They were always bright splashes of color in the field. They would be brown and white, black and white, red and white, and all sorts of combinations in between. I loved seeing these ponies in the fields, uh, and I would be sitting in the back seat of our car when Daddy would drive past. And I was one of those girls that loved horses and doodled black unicorns in first grade. And in fact, I loved horses so much that sometimes when we passed those fields, I'd cry because I wanted a horse so bad. Well, at the spot where the county paved road ended and the dirt road began was where the bus picked me up down a long road. I had to walk past several milestones. Granny's house was on the left. The pine fields were on the right, the groves of pine trees. And then there was the spot where the woods on either side of the road gave way to an open field. And it was a long dirt track down that, down through that field. George Klutz's trailer was on the left, and then George Klutz's house was on the right. And then the Mayor Maud's pasture was on the left. And then I had to go down an incline and up a hill and finally I could curve around to the clearing where our trailer sat in the middle of the woods down this dirt road. And I shared life in the trailer with mom and daddy and my little brother and sister. Things in those days were fairly um, without rules, okay? The deep woods could harbor many surprises. Now this event happened regularly, but to my six-year-old self, um, I was very close on this particular day. One of the pony farmers nearby apparently did not take very good care of the Shetlands. And they would starve. They would starve to death. And he would pack them up on a flatbed trailer pulled by his tractor, and he would trek down my long dusty road that I walked every day off of school and um, dump these ponies in the woods. My dog, Smokey, would sometimes drag up a leg or a haunch or a, or a shoulder up into our yard, rotting and black. It's very unpleasant. Well, one day, a totally usual day, I got off the school bus, afternoon sun shining. I would, first thing I would do is take off my shoes and throw them in my book bag. So I'm walking barefoot down the road with my little feet in the dust. And I would trot or gallop, pretending that I was a horse, most of the time. Um, I would trot past Granny's house and on down the road. Well, on this day, when I passed Granny's house, in front of me puttered a tractor with a flatbed trailer on it. A pile of dead ponies on it. Not just one, haphazardly, legs all akimbo, five or six of those dead ponies. Black and white, brown and white, red and white, and all splashes of color in between. I walked slowly behind this tractor, and the, the driver never looked back. Uh, one of the ponies' heads was hanging off the tractor, and his mouth was hanging open. His tongue was hanging out and down. And I walked really, really close behind that trailer. I had to carefully avoid these large drops of red, thick blood that trickled off his tongue. And then they just plopped regularly 
into the dust. Little puffs of red in the dust. And I just walked carefully, avoiding the blood. That's the end of that short story.